Hi, friends. Oh, it's late night now. What I'm gonna do is make some marzipan. And I blanched some almonds, you see. Just put some boiling water over the almonds for just two minutes. Then drain it. And you know what happens here with these almonds? It's so easy, you just do this. You see? Flip. I show you again. Some a little bit. <laughs> See, it's so easy. The whole peel goes off that easy. One more. See, very easy. Flip. There it is. Here's the peel. Goes off as easy as nothing, as anything. <laughs> okay. See. I do it all the time. Watching TV, having some, t having some tea, or so. doesn't take that much time. But afterwards I will put it in the food processor, the white almonds, because this is not good in the marzipan. marzipan. The pickles has to go off. And for some other nice uh, recipes too, you have to refine a little bit. Now, I do this, come back to you later, show you the marzipan, how I make it in the food processor with the dates and so. There we go. These are my beautiful sweet almonds, you see. Now, I blanched them, peeled them, I show you. This is the heap of peel I got off. I tell you, these don't really look less than before. Somewhere. So I put them first into my food processor. To the S plate, grind them, process them, get to have washed them before and uh, rinse them and uh, dry them with paper again and so I don't, I don't need to show you, you know how to dry the paper, so no problem. I show you that. And then I will put some dates. See, I have a Good handful of dates, but well, that's maybe some extra rose water. See, Rosenwasser, German expression for rose water. The Persians, they put it everywhere. And I guess it might be nice with the most pain. We'll see. I'll try it. Off we go, one, two, three. <laughs> Process part of the kitchen ritual. I like my little candle there. It's like symbolizing enlightenment, knowledge, and so. So yeah, this is good. You see, this is as fine as it can get in the processor. If you put more. It will turn into a marzipan. <laughs> yes, but for that, I will put the almonds in. Uh, it's
this. You will never can, you will never buy this kind of marzipan any shop. I swear you. Wow. It's so subtle. I never had that before. Wow, it's so nice. And you see, I, I show you how what it looks like. The marzipan. It's if you make a dough for a cake, this would be too too much too much process. But for the massy plate, it could be something a little bit more fine, finer. And for that, to reach that subtlety, that degree, I use my juicer. See, this is a juicer. This is the inside. And, um, ah, come on. Oops. You need to be very central. So, and um, it has a, a here um, this um, sieve, the fine mesh. That is for the juice. And uh, if you want to make uh, marzipan or nut butters, you put this, you close this, you shut this off. The juice goes here, through here, and the pulp goes out here. But to make a nut butter, you close this off, like this. That's it's for. I just show you to see how this juicer works. It's a classical model. It's a champion juicer. Right. Let's see. Let's see. The rest is the same. And when the pulp comes out, the marzipan will come out. <coughs> I just put it in here and begin. Take a bigger spoon. That would be better. For this sub job. And yeah, just begin. Wow, excitement. I guess you could put the nuts, the almonds, directly into this juicer. Yeah. I read about it on the internet. It's possible, I guess. Now I try this version. Let's see what happens. The first time I made nasi pain. On purpose, I mean. Sometimes it happens. The first, my first cake crusts for a raw food cake. Oops. Yes. Ooh. Wow. Careful. Strong. Very careful. It has to work. The mercy pen looks amazing. You have to be careful, I see. It's a lot of work for my juicer, but he does the job. He's the champion juicer. No joking. No kidding. Okay. Wow. This is so subtle, so fine. My texture. Wow. I'm so excited. Just the first, the first go, 
first time how about perfect last play. I love this thing so. It's an amazing tool. See? In a moment I show you the mouse pen when it's ready. Slightly hint, the slightest hint of a bitterness, tender by sweetness of the date. Perfection. Yeah, see you very soon. I'm happy. <laughs>